this centrifugal pump minute, we will be talking about pump affinity laws. We have another video that covers affinity laws as they relate to impeller trim. This video, we're going to be talking about pump speed. My name is James Farley, and I'm the Griswold Product Manager. The affinity law is a formula that can be used to predict pumps performance when you change speed. And this is the equation. It has four elements. One is speed, flow, head, and horsepower. As you notice, the top of the equation has a subscript of one. That is your original pump speed. And the bottom of the equation has a subscript of two that relates to your predicted performance after you change your speed. Now let's go out to the test lab to collect some data and see how accurate the affinity law is in real life. For this demonstration, we're gonna start with the pump operating at 1750 RPM. We're capturing our flow at just around 400 gallons per minute. Our differential pressure is 30.6 PSI, which is equivalent to 70.6 feet of head. We're then capturing our torque, which is calculated to 20.3 horsepower. We're now going to change the pump speed and we're going to drop it to 1500 RPM. Here, the flow rate is now 343 gallons per minute. The differential pressure is 22.4 or 50.9 feet and our horsepower is calculated at 13.1. So now that we've collected some actual data from our test lab, let's see how close the affinity law can predict the performance change. As we saw in the test lab, we started with the pump operating at 1750 RPM, and we reduced the speed to 1500 RPM. We can use these and help calculate the change in flow we started with 400 gallons per minute, and by calculating for our estimated future flow, we would expect the pump to operate at 343 gallons per minute. When we were out at the test lab, we saw that the actual flow was 343. So as you can see, the pump affinity laws did a very good job of estimating the pump's performance after changing speed. Let's do a similar comparison for now that predicted head. In this case, we're going to include our change in speed. We started with 70.6 feet of head. The, the head is now estimated to have dropped to 51.8 feet. And when we were in the test lab, we saw it actually at 50.9. So again, a very close uh, estimation of how the pump's performance changes. Finally, let's look at which what happened to the horsepower of the pump as it was operating. We started at 20.3 horsepower. The affinity laws would predict a 12.8 horsepower performance. And on the test lab, we saw that it was actually performing at 13.1. So again, the affinity laws did a very good job of estimating the performance change. So that's the pump affinity laws as it relates to pump speed. I hope it was helpful. I'm James Farley. Thank you for watching.